Breast reduction surgery is a procedure that's both as much functional as it is cosmetic, and for that reason, women who are good candidates for breast reduction surgery are women who are plagued by heavy breasts that can cause neck strain, grooving in the shoulder area where the bra straps sit, and even rashes that occur underneath the breasts. Large breasts uh, is a condition medically described as macromastia, and we know that large breasts cause numerous physical symptoms, and that these physical symptoms can uh, manifest themselves in upper cervical or neck pain, as well as pain in the shoulders. Uh, so patients who have large breasts absolutely have a functional component uh, to their large breasts. Breast reduction in its essence is a combination of both reducing the amount of breast tissue as well as lifting the breast. Some patients don't realize this. They often feel as though a reduction of the breast is only decreasing the volume of the breast, which is inaccurate. Uh, a breast reduction procedure includes both lifting the breast to a more anatomic position on the chest wall, as well as reducing the mass or the volume of the breast itself. In many instances, medical insurance will cover breast reduction surgery. However, it's very important for patients to first speak with their insurance provider prior to undergoing a breast reduction surgery. Many insurance plans have an exclusion uh, that eliminates breast reduction as a covered procedure. The best candidates for breast reduction are people who have breasts that are large and heavy and cause physical symptoms. Often patients can have physical symptoms from large breasts and not need a large breast reduction to be performed. In general, the best option is for patients to speak with a plastic surgeon about how breast reduction could best uh, improve the symptoms that they're bothered by. Breast reduction surgery leaves the breast in a natural appearance. It's important to understand that this can take several months before the settling of the breast and the scars themselves heal, but in the end, the intent is to produce a breast that has a more lifted and reduced appearance, but has a natural appearance.